de sol tá ficando com Davi, não vai não Oh, Davi, não vai não Oh, Davi, não vai não Agora que esse sol tá ficando com Davi, não vai não Hi, and welcome to Avram Studios, where we, you know, show off cool things about the world and try to bring life and vigor to an otherwise pretty stale world. And today, we will be going over my setup. I just moved into this wonderful new office. It's, I spent about a week getting everything into place, getting some new things. Um, I was able to set up the office for a very reasonable price. I think in total I spent maybe, if you exclude the computer and the monitor, I think everything here might have costed me less than a thousand dollars maybe to set this all up. So I think it's a great opportunity for people who maybe don't have as much money. And keep in mind that a lot of the stuff, like I didn't just buy all at once. I mean, a lot of it I did when I moved in, but you know, big things like the monitor I bought later. I mean, the first thing I bought was the computer. I got this desk, you know, this desk is um, just a big ass door. So keep that in mind, like you don't have to spend a lot of money to have a really, really cool fun setup that you really enjoy. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. So to start things off, I have this giant gray bucket. It's a, either a bucket or a tub or a chest. I picked it up from Target for 15 bucks and it's been serving its purpose super well. On it, I keep a plant, and I keep a little chalkboard to keep uh, for reminders. Uh, greenery is nice, you know, I named the plant. Her name is Maria, so I keep good care of Maria. Sometimes she's on, up on the uh, tub, sometimes she's up on the, uh, yeah, by the window. The tub itself serves a, a few different functions. It serves as a balancing, to balance out the room. It serves as storage. And it serves as a table, a center table. You can eat. I had a friend over. We were playing chess on it. You know, super cool. You know, next I have my couch. Uh, it's just a normal couch. It's nice to when you want to read a book or chill or whatever. And this particular couch uh, doubles as a bed. So you can, it's a futon. You know, futons, you can, they're couches and you fold them out and then they're a uh, bed. So, you know, another example of, Something serving two functions. Why can't a sofa be a bed and why can't a bed be a sofa? Yeah, it's nice for naps. I've already taken a few naps there. When you hit that wall in like the middle of the day and you're just like, ah, I'll just take a nap real quick. It's perfect. My office has a sink in it, so I just use it to wash my hands, you know, wash my dishes. Underneath, I keep my recycling, some extra storage, and my trash. You know, as you can see here, it's super sick. I'm going for like a white, black kind of theme, gray theme. It's just simple. You know, I'm planning on adding more color to it by getting real paintings, as you can see on the right-hand side. The whole system is running on, a, uh, on an eGPU and a Lenovo ThinkPad. And that background, I think, is super sick. So if you're interested in that background, I'll leave a link in the description and you can pick one up yourself. It's super high res, it works with 4K images, and uh, yeah, it's super sick. Watching this footage over, it really makes me kind of realize I work so much faster here. You separate your home from your work, from your office. This chair I picked up uh, from Goodwill, which is a thrift store up near where I live, for $50. And if you're, if you know how much chairs cost, that you know that's a steal. I mean, chairs go get expensive quickly. The desk itself is made out of a huge uh, sliding door. I painted it white. You know, parts of it are chipping, but it's serving its job well. I I try to split the desk into two parts, uh, one part being computer, one part being physical stuff. On the physical side, we have. One of my favorite paintings, it's from the Dominican Republic. My target lamp, you know, and my backpack holder. Uh, the backpack itself is uh, a Timbuktu Prospect backpack. I made a review on it on my other YouTube channel. 
so I'll leave a link up to that in the description. Underneath, I just keep some supplies, some tea, some books, stuff I'm reading right now. It, it serves its purpose fine. And usually the teapot that's up on the desk right now is down below. I mean, what's the point of showing you guys a desk setup if, if that's not how I keep it? You know, I keep stuff is on my desk all the time, so, you know, why not, why not show you guys how it is? Underneath you have a teapot for the hot, hot water, my microphone stand, which sometimes I keep below because I like to put my feet up. In the back, I, I did some pretty good cable management. It's just an electrical outlet attached to the one of those back poles. For a computer, I ha use a Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon. I think that's like the Gen 8 with a Gen 8 Intel thing, whatever. I'll, I'll put links to the specs in the description. Running it, I use an eGPU, which I mentioned earlier. Super nice to have. And I keep a little bag full of hard drives and stuff I keep for work. You know, for the foam pads, it's super good because, like right now, I'm speaking in the direction of those foam pads and they help keep the audio from radiating out. Uh, that clock in the middle is a Braun, uh, I forgot, like BN400 or something. It's got the, uh, you know, it's Supreme. It's got the uh, little world, it's a world timer thing. Yeah, so this is the setup, as you can see here. The setup is pretty cool because this uh, arm can move and adjust. I really, <clears throat> I really like that. Uh, second, um, I, I can take it off super easy because sometimes I want to put my feet up on the side there. So I just, I just take it off. Simple. This pop filter, super cheap. The arm, super cheap. The it, Blue Yeti is kind of expensive, but I mean, you could, they're so popular out there. You could find them for cheap. And honestly, any microphone will do for a setup like this. My monitor is a 4K monitor. Uh, it's like an LG, some UH something crazy, uh, whatever, what's in my bob. So yeah, as you can see, I can move it over here. I can move it like this. I can bend it in to make it go back farther deeper into the setup. It's pretty cool. The keyboard is a Velocifier, like HyperX. You know, I keep, it's got red lighting, but I like to keep that off. And for the mouse, I use the uh, Logitech MX Anywhere M2 mouse, I think is what it's called. Yeah, there's the plan again. Uh, it's got my little Gundam, my little Akuma, Funko Pop. And I like to use trace roll paper for notes. There's the teapot and uh, some other stuff. And You know, the mat on the left-hand side I got from Amazon, just a gray leather mat. And that right there is a cutting board. You know, it's a, it's a, it's simple. It does it, the job. I mean, that's, that's all you can really ask for. I mean, a lot of people use these... Uh, kind of in, like you know I tried using the bullet journaling you know I tried to do all these different methods and stuff and what I found was that if I just can have a piece of paper and then toss it when I'm done with it or keep it in a little storage box and not to think too much about it and just something to take notes I mean that works perfectly fine for me so you know do whatever works for you I mean that's that's definitely the, the memo of the story I mean you see all these setups and you know, they have all these triple quadruple displays and you know, all of these amazing audio things. I mean, my speakers are like $10. I bought them at Fred Meyer, you know. Uh, so, you know, work with what you got and, get, you know, really understand that it does not... Something just something to work and something to be good does not need to cost a lot of money. When I watch a lot of these setups and they're just insane and all these lights and stuff, it's like, can't help but feel their whack. If you guys enjoyed the video, I hope it inspires you to... You know, create something amazing with your setup. Um, keep in mind that you you don't need to to go fully gung ho. Start small. Start with the most important stuff first. You know, start with a with a computer. Move on to your monitor. Move on to your keyboard and mouse. I mean, and then from there, I would say expand out. Like whatever is the most necessary thing for you, begin with that. You don't need candles and lights to have an effective workstation. Uh, so just keep that in mind guys. I want to thank you for watching the video. Peace out